the prime minister's house whenever it's built going to cost 20,000 crores. I mean, it stands to reason. The total cost of the project, which means eight new central secretariat buildings, all that. But it, we will only know when the tenders are done. We are at a very initial stage yet. We've done Kartavya path. I think the budget estimate was what, 600 crores or something like that. And we've got it done for what, 450 or so, as far as I remember. So as I said, this is not just make believe, but they tried to create a narrative to somehow say that during the COVID pandemic, yep. the government was being wasteful and building, building. I went horse trying to tell them that the COVID management is a completely different thing. And look, again, the facts speak for themselves. We have rather the system, the prime minister's operation have resulted in 219 crore vaccine doses to be distributed free almost to all our citizens. I, whenever I go into a public debate, I ask people, is there anyone amongst you who has not had two shots? Not a single. Do I, and I ask, many of you have had three shots? Hands go up. And what was the opposition saying then? Mr. Jairam Ramesh, one of the gentlemen uh, whose quote you said, said the government is not completed the clinical trials for the domestically produced vaccine, co-vaccine. Otherwise, government must have applied its mind. Government must have done something. Now, I'm not sure if that argument being advanced then was designed to facilitate the import of expensive so foreign vaccines. You're, I'm saying, not sure. you're saying political parties can become a conduit or lobbies for corporates? Well, I'll tell you. I'll give you another example. There is a Yuva Neta. Now, you don't require much uh, uh, imagination. How he old is he, sir? looks uh, 25 maybe 50 i don't know he turned around and said modi ji hamare bachon ki vaccine kahan hai and me in my normal style i said rajasthan mein jahan aapki sarkar hai uske wahan pe aapne koode mein phenk diya aur punjab mein aapki sarkar hai us samay thi wahan pe aap munafa khori kar rahe hain so that vaccine when we are talking about false news false narrative it didn't it's not anything i deal with anything i deal with it comes because there is are it a changing is it changing because I saw recently people things are changing like a magazine that is constantly against India and, and keeps abusing India maybe to reach out to a particular audience has now started accepting that we have yeah. one of the fastest growing you, economies you, you know you know why it's changing why because the reality is asserting itself you're right you, you, you're right. you're but but but, you know, I, I get, sure. but I get angry I'll tell you why I get angry I'm told this is Bloomberg I'm not sure Look at this headline, gentlemen. And, and by the way, Mr. Puri, your next answer it will be my last question. Open it up. By the way, Mr. Puri has been one of the finest diplomats representing India globally and especially in the United Nations. So there is, a, there is something we need to ask him here. When this, when this news agency says, Britain drops behind India to become the world's sixth largest economy. Look at this. Britain drops to become the sixth largest economy. I thought the one that no, is becoming something is the one the, the which news. is... No, no, succeed. see the next line. See the next line. The former British colony jumped past the UK in three months to become the fifth largest economy. They are describing India after 75 as a former colony. I'm talking to you about mindsets. You've talked to me about falsities, information war internally. But I also believe there is a greater battle externally and I believe it's time we need a counter. I, I truly believe this country needs a stronger counter, but I'd like your thoughts on it. But before you throw this open, I have just one small comment. Please, please. You know, as a student of history, I can tell you that we had republics in the east of India, Vaishali, hundreds of years before Christ. We are a 7,000 year old civilization. That British exposure, look, I'm an admirer of the UK. I have a lot of friends, so I'm not going to that. You've studied there, so I have to be polite. But where, where? at Oxford, don't do that. Oxford and yeah, Cambridge. Okay. okay. Now, issue is the British interaction with us was only 190 years. Out of a total history of 7,000 years. So if we reclaim what is legitimately ours and shed aside the colonial mindset, that's something that should be celebrated. But these people are not accepting that. I agree.
So I totally say it's not that India has become the fifth largest economy. I want to add something to that. India will be the third largest economy in the world by 2030. Oh. That's a good headline to give us, sir. Third largest by 2030. I have no doubt about that. That's incredible. I That's travel all around the world on my job. I can't, don't see this kind of economic you, buzz that I see in India anywhere in the world. You and Jaishankar, Mr. Jaishankar and you are in a, are the angry young men in this government now. Angry. Angry. You are a little more angry and he is also angry. So it's like a, you know, Amitabh Bachchan, Shashi Kapoor combination, you know. Uh, but we are enjoying it. I enjoy it when you go to uh, the US and elegantly lose your cool. When it comes to, a, to a, a questions about uh, our, our imports of oil from Russia, for example, right? I want to know from you how the Western world responds to you. I told a young colleague who is a member of the Foreign Service who is now working in my ministry. And he said we are likely to come under this, that and the other. He was saying he like pressure. I told him, young man, pressure is something unless you are doing weight training. It's only something that can be felt in the mind. But if your mind is wired not to feel the pressure, I don't think there's anyone who can pressure Modi's India. Oh, Simply well, all well, that. Fantastic. <laughs> okay, opening up to some questions. All right. Uday, let's, Uday, let's rotate the mic around a bit. You got a mic rotating? Okay, I'll take three questions. Okay, any of the NBF members, anyone wants to put a question here? We'll put a couple of questions. Anyone here? Anyone internally? Okay, Karthik's putting a question, then I'll put, take the mic behind. Sir, you, uh, Arnab just spoke about uh, how uh, Bloomberg had positioned India on becoming the fifth largest economy. Do you feel that the foreign media is fair to India in, in the way we have progressed in the last eight years and India's position in the world globally has become more formidable? Do you find that the global media is giving India its due credit, what it deserves? Look, first of all, my distinguished uh, uh, colleague and friend in the Rajya Sabha, first of all, India is not looking for credit, point one. Number two, who is the foreign media? Now, most of the people I know in the foreign media who have any knowledge of India are the Indians working for the foreign media stationed in Delhi. Okay. Now, they have habitually got used to looking for that narrative where something is going wrong. Correct. It's been part of their DNA. The snake Arre bhai wo one, one uh, uh, colleague of uh, my dear friend, the host, one day it rained incessantly and there were th two or three inches of water which collected in that underpath and Kartavya path. He said, and this uh, MP, uh, who's from a state neighboring here, said, 6,000 crores down the tube. Because down the tube, he was, is a play on words. Why? Because teen inch barisha you collect, the whole central vista is destroyed. And they showed some old pictures. Okay? When it was under construction. Now, the chief operating officers of the department have to swung in. So I called, I was abroad, I called the um, um, uh, CPWD director general and I said, Yeah, okay, 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 photo to yeah. So I said, Yeah, okay, photo. It was old, whatever. No. And then somebody working with him was so illiterate, he turned around and said, we have just uploaded it from Google. But the uploading time is you can upload an old photo and the time which will be shown will be and when by you... by the time it's gone over and, the world. By the time it's gone all over the world. Look, there is a sneaking streak, admiration and appreciation for what India has done. Even our worst critics will tell you India's COVID management its healthcare sector reform, its contribution to sustainability, green energy is second to none. Plus the economy is growing at 7% for heaven's sake at a time when the largest economy is in a, a quarter to quarter recession when countries in Europe are today uh, in um, uh, financial straits. So there is admiration. Is everybody happy about it? I'm sorry. Um, Kartika, let me tell you, in our own system, we have 10 friends, two do very well. India remember? 
when uh, you were much younger, when we were in the university, we used to call it the crab mentality. If a crab tries to grow up, all the others combine to pull him down. Pull him down. Yeah. So it's not bad, but the fact of the matter is, yeah. why do you have okay. countries lining up to what? visit India? Mm -hmm. Why is the Prime Minister on a personal level in a very dynamic, interactive summit diplomacy thing with all the leaders of the world? And the facts speak for themselves. One more There's a question. large country which is completely in lockdown, the major city. And here, I don't see a single one of us wearing a mask. Uh, uh, yeah. Sir, one, 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 one more question. Just one more. Like, let me take it back, Shkartik. One more. 